let's look at what the response was from, you know, our fearless leaders, uh, specifically Joe Biden of, you know, he's got control of the executive branch. Democrats have control of the Senate. Democrats have control of the House for now. Pack Here that he court. Was. <sighs> Here he was. <laughs> I'm like, part of me just died when you said that because I <laughs> know it won't happen. Here he was responding to a question on whether or not he would suspend, amend, abolish the filibuster, which is the only way that something like uh, codifying Roe v. Wade, making sure that it cannot be undone, it, you know, piecemeal like this in different states, uh, even if this is overturned. Because as we know, the Women's Health Protection Act was passed in the House, but it was not passed in the Senate. It is not, I don't believe has been up for a vote in the Senate yet. So here's what he had to say. And this is on the day that this news of the leak dropped. I'm not I'm not prepared to make those judgments now about uh, but you know uh, I think the codification of Roe makes a lot of sense. Look, think what Roe says. Roe says what all basic mainstream religions have historically concluded that right that the existence of a human life and being is a question is it at the moment of conception is it six months is it six weeks is it is it quickening like aquinas argued i mean so the idea that we're going to make a judgment that is going to say that no one can make the judgment to choose to abort a child based on a decision by the supreme court I think that was way overboard. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What? Why is everyone so old? Every This is a man who, if he was our grandfather, we wouldn't be letting him drive anymore. It's like, stop. Enough. Why are these people... <laughs> Nancy you Pelosi know, is not supposed to be driving. She shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> and they're both driving the country uh, right into the ground. And, no, it's... here. Just say... Abortion is a woman's choice. It's the pregnant person's choice. It is an individual choice. It is not the job of the government to decide. This is about personal freedom. Thank you. Good night. And you, that's even half of what he said. The beginning of what he said is, I don't think I'm going to basically do anything about it. Well, I don't, I think we should codify rope, but I'm not ready to say we should amend the filibuster. Not even for this, not even for this so just fundamental issue. Different field they're on a they're playing a completely different sport and it's like republicans are just dunking and dunking and dunking and we're like bu and we're like bunting on a baseball field and they're like we're not even <laughs> counting that because it's the basketball we we're playing <laughs> that's what are we doing move the basketball it's like be, we're being no, nice no. and we're being centrist because because we want we don't want to scare them it's like they, fuck that they're not scared they're so emboldened it, they're they're taking away the majority rule there's no democracy anymore we're, the vote doesn't matter if they're like <laughs> if bunting on a basketball field is very funny and then you're like just okay just use the bat just hit their knees do something do something Flat. you have a bat do anything <laughs> We voted so, to give you the bat. <laughs> it's, it, it's, you know, I, I, there was a follow-up, not a press conference specifically from Joe Biden, which honestly I would have wanted on this issue, but there was a follow-up and uh, it's not much better. Let's just watch a little bit of, of his response as he had time to sort of clear his head. And this is what he's saying. This is about a lot more than abortion. I, haven't, I hadn't read the whole opinion at that time. But this reminds me of the debate with Robert Bork. Bork believed the only reason you had any inherent rights was because the government gave them to you. If you go back and look at the opening comments of the Bork Biden when I was questioning him as chairman, I said, I believe I have the rights that I have, not because the government gave them to me, which you believe, but because I'm just a child of God, I exist. I delegated by joining this union here to delegate some obligation, some rights I have to the governments for, for social good. So the idea that somehow there is an inherent right, that there is no right of privacy, that there is no right. Remember the debate we had, you don't remember, but we had a debate about 
uh, Griswold versus Connecticut. There had been a law saying a married couple could not purchase birth control in the privacy of their own bedroom and use it. Well, that got struck down. Griswold was thought to be a bad decision by Bork, and I'm, my guess is the guy's on the Supreme Court now. What happens if you have a uh, state ch- changes the law saying that, that, that children who are LGBTQ can't be in classrooms with other children? Is that, is that legit under the way that the decision is written? What are the next things that are going to be attacked? Because this MAGA crowd is really the most extreme political ex- organization that's existed in American history. If only someone were, oh God, I don't know, president. Like, what if, oh, what if you were like just like the most powerful man in the country, maybe even the world? What would you do? It's so scary. You're right. All You're those right. rights are being taken away. Scary. If only I were president. God damn it. That's what they act like. It's like they act, they're like, well, we can't and we can't do anything because we can't break the rules. And it's like the rules are all made up. Make new ones. Make them. <laughs> it is exactly like your hospital bill. It's all made up. It's made it's- up. You just need a Jewish mom to call and call and call and call and go, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's 450 and I want 15 judges. <laughs> And, yes. and yes. give me my rights back. Absolutely. I and then yeah. I won't write a Yelp review about this <laughs> fucking country. Ooh, our Yelp reviews must be so bad right now. <laughs> I, w- I just want Yelp reviews from foreigners being like, I visited America. Mm, overrated. It's so embarrassing that we're just like, uh, like the, it's uh, even like Veep and Handmaid's Tale all seem like super lame now. Like it's all this. So this is worse than those things <laughs> we're literally you know, going to be going to canada and it is funny that the thing that felt the most accurate house of cards is no longer because kevin spacey's a, pre- a sexual predator like if that's and he, actually and be, because he got canceled because he got kicked off the show because the, the actual sexual predator would not <laughs> would, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. would be on the fucking exactly. supreme court <laughs> frank underwood is totally fine frank underwood get, keeps on like live and he gets reelected whatever the yeah. fuck else happens <laughs> the, the most unrealistic thing about that show is that the main actor who was proven to be a sexual predator was fired <laughs> that is not realistic <laughs> to politics in this country <laughs> what's going on fran tifa if you haven't already Subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.